Okay, here we go. The uh, temperature today, uh, 80 degrees, 79 degrees is what the thermometer is showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a drive, and we're going to see how well this air conditioning keeps up. So what I have to do is to roll up these windows. Not super warm today, but it's a good day to test this air conditioner. So let's see what happens. Turn on the air and let's go. Been waiting for warm days to test this thing. I've also been waiting for some parts. So I'm finally got everything together. Now I can just take this car out for a drive. Temperature's already dropping at 61 as far as the output of the uh, air conditioner is concerned. See what happens as I get everything a little bit cooler. The air conditioner on these old Ferraris I've often felt were like an, uh, an afterthought. I mean, I know that they started putting air conditioning in and they started thinking about it in the late 60s and by the early 70s they had a system that was a little better integrated. But, um, it's, uh, it's still an American system. A lot of the parts are American. So it's like a York compressor and all the controls and everything like that. Some of them were Italian made, but I think they were licensed. So when, it's, uh, when you're trying to get pieces for it, you kind of have to figure out where you can get the replacement pieces. Well, I can see it dropped down to 55, which is a good sign. I just realized I left my wallet back at the shop. So hopefully I won't get pulled over. Today's not the worst day to go out simply because it's uh, it's partly cloudy. Um, these cars have a lot of greenhouse, you know, it's the windows are, are uh, not tinted. So it's kind of like open to the sun. So if the hot sun is blazing down, you gotta imagine with a, with a black interior, it's probably a losing battle. But, um, you know, there's only so much we could do. Like I said, the air conditioner is kind of like an afterthought. So I don't know how efficient it was um, when they put it in. I mean, I could feel air coming around. It's really coming from the four front vents and more specifically, the two center vents is where most of the air comes out of. Um, you could feel the venting is more directed from the, from the two in the front or the two. And then the side ones kind of like bleed air off. Um, there is also a little bit of air coming down below, but again, it's only so much you can blow out of this thing. At least the sun's coming out a little bit, so um, you know we can um, we can really test this thing to see how well it works with the with the sun. Well, it's now dropping down to below 50 which is a good sign. Fuel gauge is not reading here. I have to find out why I don't have fuel. I don't know how much fuel I have. So it's interesting. I may have to go back. fuel gauge isn't working. Always, you know, when I take this car apart, you never know when things get knocked loose and they're just not showing what they should be showing. So let me just turn around here. I want to turn around and uh, figure out what's going on with the fuel. That's why I'm always test driving to make sure things are working correctly, but just notice that I have no fuel.
seven? I don't know. I have to look at it when I get back. I can't see from here. But it feels pretty cool. Well, this short drive at least gets me... Um, gets me to get a good idea. I just got to get back, find out why the fuel gauge isn't working. It could just be, I had to take the center stack out just to check the, um, just to check the ammeter and um, something wasn't right and it still got in there to, to work on the center console. So um, maybe something got shaken loose and the fuel gauge isn't working, but hopefully it's just a, uh, looks like the oil temp isn't working either. So let me find out whether or not it could just be the multi-pin plug that's unplugged. Um, or just got loose and uh, it might just need to be plugged back in. Normally I would just unplug this, pull this out, but I should probably disconnect the battery. So let me get inside and do this inside. But so far, that feels pretty cold. What does that say? That says 50 degrees out. 50, no, that's 45 degrees. I got to 45 degrees. That's fantastic. Well, I figured it out. Um, the uh, center console, I had to go back in and um, I had to uh, disconnect some things. What happened was there was a multi-pin plug back here that was, uh, that was unplugged and I, and I didn't get put it back in. I mean, I got the ammeter, everything back together, but it was just a simple plug. So I got that fixed, but then I, re I was going through some other things and I was testing the, um, the cigarette lighter and I found that to be shorting out. So I ended up replacing the outlet. Uh, let me show you what I did. The uh, cigarette lighter has this little ceramic insulator at the bottom of it, and also it's a little rusty. But um, I found out that it wasn't, it was kind of grounding out because the little ring that the center post goes through, this post is supposed to go through that center ring. Because the insulator is kind of worn out, it shifted and then was grounding out. So I think somebody had unplugged it because it was, it was blowing the fuse every time. And uh, when I plugged everything back in and tried to try to get it working, um, I found out that that was why it was blowing was because of this little ceramic insulator. So what I did was I just replaced it with uh, another one. I mean, they're pretty standard. Uh, you just had to modify a couple things to, to get this one, but it's, it's pretty much identical to this one and it will go in. One of the things I check these days is the cigarette lighter. Um, simply because I think everybody needs a working cigarette lighter. Um, not necessarily to light cigarettes with, but just for an accessory for, uh, for, the, um, for your iPhone or, or, or for your phone charging or GPS or any of that stuff. You just need, you need 12 volts available to you in the car. Most of these old cars have cigarette lighters, but a lot of times they're blown or they're not working or they're kind of crusty, as you saw. So um, I went ahead and... Um, replace that and got that working um it was a little bit of a struggle simply because you got to take the console out take a look and get in there but it's it's working so this car is about ready to go home i mean uh, i got the air conditioning working i got the the car tuned um and uh everything looks really good so i think uh we're in good shape i'm glad the air conditioning is blowing nice and cold and uh, we'll go from there let's fire up one more time